As you can see uh, from this uh, graphic uh, generated by real-time data, Chris Ferguson uh, flying a precise path uh, down the cone, the corridor, uh, that uh, would lead uh, to a docking a short time from now, just 50 feet separating Atlantis from the International Space Station. Atlantis uh, nearing uh, its destination at a glacial rate of about one-tenth of a foot per second. Thirty-four feet separating the two spacecraft, both flying in formation south of New Zealand. Houston and Station Atlantis on the big loop. We don't see a flyout. We're initiating final approach. Houston copies. Pilot Doug Hurley informing uh, both uh, station and shuttle flight control rooms that no flyout is required, meaning no additional alignment required. Commander Chris Ferguson uh, is dead spot on with the two docking mechanisms uh, perfectly aligned, 24 feet uh, separating the two spacecraft, pressing in for final approach and docking. Now inside 20 feet.
15 feet. Still precisely aligned. Post contact thrust is armed. Ten feet away. Good steady approach. Six feet separating Atlantis from the International Space Station, standing by for contact and capture. Contact docking confirmed. Capture confirmed at 10.07 a.m. Central Time. Houston, the station Atlantis. Capture confirmed and we see free drift. Station Atlantis, Houston. Station free drift is confirmed. Pilot Doug Hurley confirms the arrival of Atlantis. The station now in free drift. The two docking mechanisms will have an opportunity to dampen out. Atlantis arriving. Welcome to the International Space Station for the last time. That's great to be here, station. We'll see you shortly. 